Last week's video was Pittsburgh Alphabet Facts A to L, and this week will be M to Z, the second half of the alphabet. So let's begin with M. M is for Mancini's Bakery. James Mancini was an Italian immigrant and became a baker at the age of 14. Because he loved to experiment, he created his signature bread, which is called the twist. If you look at the top picture, it almost looks like a braid. Mancini's Bakery has two locations, one in McKee's Rocks and the other in the Strip District. M is also for Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers was a creator and showrunner and host of the preschool television series, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood for about 30 years. Mr. Rogers was born in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is outside of Pittsburgh. He went to Rollins College and studied music, but then began his television career in 1951 at NBC in New York. He returned to Pittsburgh in 1953 to work for a children's programming at NET, which later became known as PBS. In 1968, he created Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which ran for 33 years. His show helped children learn how to solve lots of life's problems. N is for neighborhoods. Now, the city of Pittsburgh is fairly large, but you'd be surprised to know that it includes 90 different neighborhoods. If you look in the picture, you'll see probably ones that you visited before, like the Strip District or Southside. I uh, see Shady Side, Brookline, Carrick, East Liberty. A lot of those things are home to places that we like to visit. O is for Opera. The Pittsburgh Opera began in 1939 as the, the Pittsburgh Opera Society with performances at Carnegie Music Hall. It is the seventh oldest company in the United States and has a long history of making music. The opera's headquarters are now in the historic George Westinghouse Air Brake Factory in the Strip District. P is for Pittsburgh. And now when I say Pittsburgh, I mean the spelling of Pittsburgh. In a 1758 letter sent from General John Forbes to William Pitt, Pitt was notified that his name had been given to the, to the place spelled Pittsboro. In the city charter granted on March 18, 1816, the Pittsburgh spelling is used on the original document, but due to an apparent printing error, the Pittsburgh spelling is found on official copies of the document printed at the time. So you'll notice that the spelling is a little different. The H was left off. Eventually, it was changed back to using the H in the spelling. P is also for Primani Brothers. Joe Primani originally started out with a sandwich cart and sold them to hungry truck drivers in the Strip District. He later partnered with his brothers and created an actual storefront to sell his sandwich creations. Primani's is most famously known for putting fries on sandwiches. Q is for court, and you'll look, when you look at the picture, you'll see that it is of Turner's Tea. Turner's Dairy Farm was established in 1930 by Charles G. Turner. The farm is still located in Penn Hills, just outside of the city, but Turner's Dairy includes lots of di different products, such as the iced tea, which is very popular, popular in a lot of restaurants. R is for radio station. The world's first commercial radio station, KDKA, began broadcasting in Pittsburgh in 1920. It went on the air on the evening of November 2nd in 1920 with a broadcast of the return, returns of the Harding Cox presidential election. S is for soldiers and sailors. The Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum has stood to honor veterans of all branches of service from all generations since 1910. 
A vast collection of artifacts donated over the past 100 years gives Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum a unique platform to interpret American military history by telling stories of individuals who served our country since the Civil War through our current time. S is also for steel. You may have heard of the Steelers. Well, it gets its name because steel is one of, the, of Pittsburgh's main industries for nearly a century and a half. The mills along the rivers churned out their products 24 hours a day, every day of the year. It can be said that steel from Pittsburgh mills practically built America. For instance, the steel was used to build the Golden Gate Bridge and also the Empire State Building. Through the mid-1950s, Pittsburgh was one of the nation's eighth largest city, accounting for nearly half of the national steel output. T is for three rivers. The Allegheny River and Monongahela River unite at Point State Park to form the Ohio River, which you can see here. There are two rivers, each on the sides of the city, and you can see the point is located towards the bottom of the picture, and that is where they come together to form another river. Now, according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Port of Pittsburgh is the second busiest inland port and the seventh busiest port of any kind in the country. T is also for terrible towel. How many of you have these hanging in your house? Well, Myron Cope, a radio broadcaster for the Steelers, came up with the idea alongside the managers at his radio station. He wanted to create something that was lightweight and portable for fans to so show support for the team. U is for universities. Pittsburgh is home to lots of universities, including the University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, Duquesne, Point Park, and Carlow. V is for vaccine. The first effective polio vaccine was developed by Jonas Salk and a team at the University of Pittsburgh. Polio is an illness caused by a virus that can make a person have paralysis, which means they can't move parts of their body. W is for World Series. Pittsburgh's baseball team, the Pirates, played in the first World Series matchup against the then Boston Americans in 1903. X is for Super Bowl X. Now, X in Roman numerals means 10. In 1976, the Steelers defeated the Cowboys by the score of 21-17 to win their second consecutive Super Bowl. Y is for yins. Yins is a Pittsburgh equivalent to saying y'all or you all, and it is used to address two or more people as a second person plural pronoun. And last but not least, Z is for Zambelli. Fireworker Antonio Zambelli ventured from Italy in 1893 to establish the Zambelli Fireworks Manufacturing Company in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which was to become a center for America's firework industry. Pittsburgh hosts a Zambelli fireworks show every year on the 4th of July. I hope you learned lots more about Pittsburgh and hopefully soon enough we can go and visit all these various things that we learned about.